Hi Bold Bakers, I am really excited because it is ice cream season and I have got your top five most requested ice cream flavors, including lemon meringue pie and cereal milk. They are amazing. And they're all made using my two ingredient, no machine ice cream. So let's get ice cream making. So we're gonna start out by making our ice cream base. Now to make it, you need cream and condensed milk. Now I have a new section on my website called Bold Baking Basics and I show you how you can make your own condensed milk at home. It is really easy. I know a lot of you have made ice cream base before, but I'm gonna make it again really quickly for those of you who don't know. You wanna make your ice cream using a stand mixer or an electric hand mixer. Then just pour in your cold whipping cream. Make sure it's nice and cold because it whips better. Then turn your machine onto a medium high speed and whip up until soft peaks. It doesn't take too long. If you ever have trouble whipping cream, I've got a video on my website that shows you how to do it perfectly. Okay, perfect, this is nice soft peaks. So to this, we are going to add in our cold condensed milk. Now put this in the fridge for at least 24 hours because it makes much better ice cream when it's cold. Now we're gonna turn the machine back on to a medium high speed and let it whip up again until it gets nice and thick. Just a quick whip up. And this is our easy two ingredient, no machine ice cream base. Check that out. Now you will notice well, it's a little bit sweet, but the flavor will actually get milder as it freezes. So don't worry about that. At the end, I like to add in a little bit of vanilla for extra flavor. Also, it helps your ice cream base not to freeze rock solid. Now that our base is made, our ice cream countdown is on, starting with number five, which is mocha frappuccino. So this is a coffee flavored ice cream. So I have some coffee granules here, which are concentrated flavor. And then I'm just going to mix them with a little bit of water to dissolve them and then pour it into your ice cream base. Okay, that's looking great. Got a nice swirl going on. Now, because this is a mocha frappuccino, I'm going to drizzle in some chocolate sauce. You can use homemade or store-bought, that's up to you. And then just very gently swirl that in so you get a nice mix of chocolate and coffee. Just mix it together and keep those lovely swirls intact so when you scoop it, it looks beautiful. So our ice cream is done and it's ready for the tubs. Now, these are the containers that I like to use for my ice cream. They come with lids and you can buy them directly on my website. They're really, really handy to have. Fill your ice cream container all the way to the top. Now to finish this off and make it look like a real frappuccino, I have some plain ice cream base in a piping bag and I'm going to do a nice big swirl on top. Look at that. And of course, it would not be a mocha frappuccino without some extra chocolate sauce. So now on Instagram, Candice requested this flavor. So I made a homemade sticker. You can find these on my website and I'm going to make this one for you, Candice. Great suggestion, Candice. You are a girl after my own heart. I love coffee. So we're gonna pop this in the freezer. It only takes around four hours to freeze and it will last in there up to four to six weeks, so a really long time. Our next ice cream has everything that I love. Crunchy meringue, lemon curd, and a cookie crust. It is lemon meringue pie ice cream. Into a bowl, add in your ice cream base. To your base, I'm going to add in some homemade lemon curd, or you can use store-bought, it's up to you. Give it a mix into your ice cream base to get that lovely lemony flavor all around. You can see it turn a bit of a yellow color. You cannot have lemon round pie without a crust, so I am going to put in some big chunks of graham crackers. You can use any kind of plain biscuit, digestives, rich tea, whatever you like. And then I'm also going to add in some meringue. Look at that, a nice gooey, soft meringue. I made these yesterday and I ate a few as I was baking them. Gently fold those in. I love lemon meringue pie for all the different textures and that's exactly what this ice cream has. As simple as that was, that's how easy it is to make lemon meringue pie ice cream. And here all the crunchy bits going in. Those are my favorite bits. And then of course, in a big and bold fashion, I'm gonna sprinkle over some graham crackers and a little bit of extra meringue too. And then finish it off with a little slice of lemon. Bex Kelly on YouTube requested this flavor, so this one's for you, Bex. I love lemon meringue pie, so this flavor for me is an absolute winner. Our next ice cream flavor is sweet, it's toasty, very reminiscent of the summer. It is toasted marshmallow ice cream. To our ice cream base, we are going to add none other than toasted ooey gooey marshmallows. Check those out. To toast your marshmallows, put them under the grill under low heat and keep a very close eye on them until they're lovely and brown and gooey just like these ones. And then when they've cooled down, they're not too hot, we are just going to add them into our ice cream base. This is a little bit of a sticky job, but it's well worth it. And kind of break them up into your ice cream because they are sticky. You wanna make sure that they spread out into your ice cream base and they don't all stay in the one spot. This is what you want, all of that gooey, 
marshmallow throughout your ice cream. Once it's all mixed up, it's ready for your container. Can you see that going in there? All that gooey, sticky, toasty marshmallow. And then to finish it off, I like to put a few little toasted marshmallows on top. Thanks to Ashley because she requested toasted marshmallow ice cream. I call this Ashley wants s'more because once you try it, you're gonna want lots more. Have it with some graham crackers, chocolate, and you're good to go. When you started requesting the next flavor of ice cream, I thought it was a bit of a funny combination. I've never heard of it before, but then when I tried it, it is absolutely delicious. It is caramel corn ice cream. You start out this ice cream in a bit of a different way. You want to actually flavor the cream before we whip it up. It is really easy and I'm gonna show you how. In a bowl, add in your cold whipping cream. Into our cream, we are going to add in our caramel corn. You can use homemade, store-bought, whatever you fancy. Now simply all we're going to do is just give this a mix around, let it sit for around half an hour. And what we're gonna do is infuse the cream. Your popcorn is gonna go soft. It's gonna give the cream a really nice flavor to then build our ice cream on. When your time is up, we're gonna take a clean bowl and a sieve and pass your cream through it. You can see that the color has changed. It's got all of that lovely caramel. So just pass it through the sieve and don't be afraid to give that popcorn a little bit of a mush with your spatula. You wanna get all of that lovely toasty flavor out of there. Okay, so I have my popcorn. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm going to take my caramel flavored cream and we're gonna whip it up to make our ice cream. We're gonna add in our condensed milk, whip it up again until nice and thick. And that's your caramel corn ice cream. Now what I like to do is add in a little bit extra popcorn all smashed up to give it extra texture. And then just like the others, fill your tub all the way up. Decorate your ice cream with even more caramel corn on top. Then add on your sticker. Thanks to George's request and his love for caramel corn, we have this fantastic ice cream flavor. So we are at our number one most requested flavor of ice cream and it is cereal milk. This flavor is so great because it reminds you of when you're a kid eating cereal, drinking the sugary milk. I'm going to show you how you can take that flavor and turn it into an ice cream. Just like before, add your cold whipping cream into a bowl. Now take some of your favorite cereal. I have fruity pebbles here, but you can use frosted flakes, cocoa puffs, anything you like. Fruity pebbles are going to give it a really good color. Give it a little bit of a stir. Look at that. This is kind of insane. I already know it's kind of insane. And now just like with the popcorn, we're gonna let it infuse our cream. However, you don't want to let this one sit too long, otherwise it's actually going to soak up all of our cream. So I would say 15, 20 minutes. Look, you can already see the cream changing color. And then we'll come back and we'll continue making our ice cream. Just like with your popcorn ice cream, we're going to strain the cream off the pebbles. Just to make sure you get all of the flavor from the cereal, give it a good squish down with your spatula. Just like the others, we're going to whip this up until it's firm. Then we're gonna add in our condensed milk, whip it up a little bit more, and then you're gonna have yourself some cereal milk ice cream. Now for a little extra something something, I'm going to stir in some more cereal for extra color and flavor. Fill up your ice cream container with your homemade ice cream. And as always, decorate the top with some extra cereal. Finish off your ice cream with your sticker. Thank you so much to everybody who requested this flavor. Lily happened to be one of them, and just like me, she likes breakfast for dessert. Whether you're a kid at heart, or like something a little bit more sophisticated, there is a flavor here for everyone. I have to stop eating, it's my last bite. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you back here next week for more Bigger, Bolder Baking. Oh, I just want some graham crackers and some chocolate. Make a s'more ice cream sandwich.